welcome back to another episode of Anno 1800. As always, I'm very, very happy that you're here. And there's a lot of things that we actually have to work on, like I always say at the beginning of like practically every single video. What is she saying to me? The commuter station allows your workforce to commute between, you know, yeah, 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 I know. It's pretty much self-explanatory. That's what was told before. So here's the thing, right? Um, there are a number of things that I want to change and to be perfectly honest I don't think the radius of the hacienda is gonna get any larger going down this hill so I'll probably end up moving this uh, barrier entrance further down here and what I was thinking about is with the introduction of electricity here and all that good stuff I don't want to have the farms and such be over here anymore what I will plan to do is bring them over to this side eventually and then move these over to the other side the reason for this whole little redesign is going to be because there's going to be oil here and we can tap into where is it fuel so we'll be able to have the tractors working i'm not sure whether i want to actually keep the uh, hacienda fertilizer works anymore uh, the thing about it is right that the position is just it's weird uh we have the cattle here i think i what i will probably end up doing is this farm i'll put over on this side yeah let's go ahead and do that from now because i need to have more fertilizer coming in and we just Watch. we don't have enough in my opinion so let's build a fertilizer silo i'm just gonna put it in blueprint mode so i know what's up here uh, it is set like this. Yep. And going to build the actual farms like so. That doesn't look too bad actually. I have this nagging feeling you're a jellyfish. I didn't want to actually build this though. So. Get rid of the fertilizer silo itself, but put that there. And I'm gonna delete this one. That way I can build another one of these cattle farms. Essentially what's happening is around this thing, we need to have enough <laughs> shit coming in. We don't have enough shit. So we're gonna need more. And you would think that these these guys would be churning out a whole bunch, but apparently not. And I think getting rid of this one would probably be the best call. So let me go over here. Uh, you know what, I'll actually, can I just, what would happen if I just copied this whole thing? Can I put it in here? Is it possible? It's not, it doesn't look too bad, honestly. I can probably, it's just, it's facing a weird direction, man, but we can, we can deal with it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and build this whole farm up, and then we should have a decent amount coming in, because fertilizer lasts for a decent amount of time, so with one working for example we should be able to gain a decent radius for all the other farms at least here for now i will probably end up moving this chain because quite frankly i i don't really want to have it here on port royal but we'll see when the time comes the other thing is that because of the radius of the hacienda and this is something i did not uh, anticipate it going to here. I wish there was a way that you could like drag out the line so you could predetermine where you want to go. But seeing as how it's encompassing a good portion of the actual city, and if you were to build down here, you won't face any like real repercussions for it to be this distance away from the hacienda itself. This district, more than likely, I'm gonna bring down to the ground and essentially replace it with a whole bunch of artista quarters until i can move these farms because we also have the capability of uh getting coffee here we have the fertility so that's not a horrible thing uh this is a felt producer right so what is this one? Oh yeah okay i don't want to spend too much time over here because we have a lot of stuff to work on in the old world as well so i'm actually gonna get rid of this entire district a competitive just flat out is under siege they'll be fine and we're gonna go here and i'm gonna build a whole bunch of artistic orders perhaps it's time you met our davy jones what is that payment <sighs> I, 
I what hate you. you. Still with a head. For now, you still have yours. I'm, I was, you know, defending you, saying that you were actually going to be a decent trading partner. I'm reconsidering that right now, let me tell you. Okay, so this is, um... This would be interesting. I have one house in the very middle. Or one at the very end. Oh, boy. Maybe at the very end. I feel it would be awkward to have one in the middle. Well, I mean, no, not really. What we could do is we could actually put a town hall in the middle. Oh, it's overlapping. Oh, crap, because of this one. Well, that rules out that problem. Let me go ahead and just copy one, I guess. It's the only thing that we really can do. I don't think a road coming into here. Well, no, let me, let me think about this. Hold on. Extend the road to here. That's step one. Build it around. Come here, come here. Straight down. Go to here. And then straight there. And then do the same over here. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. And then you put some nice stuff in the middle? Yeah, okay. Build these guys up, please. And they should work. So bored, I might just lay an egg. What did he say? How are you that far away from the boxing arena? It's right there. Do we have to have another one kind of close by? Where can we put one? Oh man, that's just the worst part of it. I, I think maybe we put them in here, like a boxing arena right here. Because we, we're gonna need them. Uh, can we... Is it possible to build... No. Well, I mean, we could... It would still break down two rows of homes. So, I mean, we're, we're gonna have to do it anyway. Just break these ones down. And plop you down right here. Perfect. And then we'll just build a road to, like, here. And let's... Um, I'm kind of tired of having these little sections just kind of be empty. So, I want to see... I really wish um, you could see. Hold on. So those beach ornaments. Uh, what can we put in the middle here? So it's a two block, right? Maybe a fountain in the front? A fountain garden? Or oh, what's this one? Oh, you know what? That's even. Okay, I like this idea. Hold on. They put this here. Okay. And then we don't want the watering hole. No, that's too large of a statue. Uh, hmm. I am a big fan of the newspaper for some reason, even though I hate the editor. We could just put a garden ornament, like, back here. And then we could put a little gazebo. No, actually, let's flop their position. So let's put the garden in the front here. Okay. And then we're going to put the gazebo back here. That's a nice little entrance. I like that. Uh, do we mirror it? No. I, I don't want to mirror it. I feel like that's just boring. We don't want to have boring stuff here. We can put a chess table. Or actually, what's some other ones that are three? Uh, we don't want the bronze line. It doesn't... F well, I mean, it can fit. It's just I don't want to put it there. But we can have another fountain garden here. Let's put it like this. Okay. And... An explosion. In one of your factories. There's no way. <laughs> I'm gonna start actually crying. It never fails. It never fails. Every time I record an episode, there's a freaking explosion somewhere. I'm not even gonna bother with it right now. We're getting freaking oil from Patrick. I can let one go to hell. I mean, it went to straight up ruins. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Shaking my head, honestly. This is just insane how unlucky I am with this. Three of those. Uh, I kind of want some palm trees. That's kind of cool. Okay, and then... Let's go ahead and build a road connecting. Okay, so this is a nice little area too. Uh, but now our Abrera workforce is suffering. So we're going to have to rebuild from what we have here. Something is struggling. Because they just went down to minus two. I think it's just, it's natural decay. All right. Blueprint mode on. We need to upgrade a little bit. 
let's go ahead and withstood an attack. Why did I flip this? Was there a reason for that? I don't remember. Uh, put two there, okay. And then some more homes. Can we just make a long line? We can, but we block off a portion, and I don't want to do that. So we can put a house there. We can't put one there. Um, how would it fit over here? So we can have maybe three blocks. Like that. And then straight like that. And then we probably want our services and whatnot, so like the marketplace over here. Can the chapel be fit anywhere? The chapel can be fit here at the end of the road. That's actually quite nice. I like that. Uh, the only thing I would foresee being a problem would be this home and its proximity. Well, I think it's close enough to that if we build a cobbled road. So that shouldn't be too bad. Let's go ahead and map that out. Uh, get this going. We can make a double road here and get one road going to here because we need this to be linked up 100% uh, This would this too would be a double road um, Might be a little overkill if I'm being honest And we're out of bricks, okay Let me just finish the rest with dirt path because I have to go and rebuild that freaking refinery and work a little bit in the old world while we can gain some resources back here Let's see. Uh, do we just go ahead and build this up from now? I, I think we do. Let's get them at least populated. Yeah, that's fine. Because we're going to have to work on the Aberras at some point. But I kind of like the fact that we have these Artista Quarters in here. They kind of look a little uh, <laughs> basic, for lack of better words. Their, their buildings look relatively identical. But there's nothing much we can do about that. It's, it's quite all right. How many, um, oh, wrong place. I did not want to see that. I wanted to see the quest book. How many do we have here? Uh, 2,300. Okay. Okay. So we, we should honestly start working on the other stuff, I guess. Like what, what are their needs they have? Uh, what can we do for this? What's an easy chain? They want soccer balls, right? So Nandu farm and then a Kalchuk plantation. It's missing the fertility, so I, out of curiosity, if I were to just go over here and set one of these farms to Kalchuk, just for like a, a quick second, would it work? Yeah, it works, so we can negate the fact that there's a fertility issue here. Go back to coffee for me, please. Sorry about that, it was a quick test. Uh, and before we head out of here, I'm going to go and upgrade these guys to Averroes real quick. And they'll populate. They'll get over uh, the minus one relatively quickly. Okay, back to the old world we go. Ruins in my city. Which one exploded? This one. Fantastic. We have a lot of resources here. Let's start working on um, the reinforced concrete. So Captain Tobias is leaving. We have these here. Um, if I were to put reinforced concrete in for... Oh, we have a ton of furs here. Okay, so we're doing well with the whole sewing machine thing. That's good. That's very good. But reinforced concrete is still pretty high up there. So if I were to put this, it's still a one to two. So I think I would want to do this a little bit more just to get it on the chain here. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Uh, I don't really want steel beams here either. I prefer to have that, but the thing about it is we're maxed out on saltpeter, so we actually need to start working on the um, dynamite production. And seeing as how we have a lot of oil here, I would assume, yeah, 1,232. I'm gonna go ahead and build up this oil power plant here as well, because we want these things working pretty fast too. And it just electrifies the whole area. So I think it'll make it all the way to here. Job. The governor's here. Yeah, so when uh, we actually gain some oil in here, then it will actually work for the entire area. And then these guys are going to start working too. So that's fantastic. I really like what we did back here at the industrial complex. Quite a bit, actually. 
So now that we have this oil, um, did we actually lower? No, we didn't. Okay, that's why. Change you back down. You should be okay. You don't need to keep complaining. There's also one other thing I need to do. Well, two things, really. Um, so the bread production and... I don't need these. I don't know why I have those working. The bread production and all of these back here with the beer. I am considering bringing them over here and placing them down close to this power station because we will be able to make a whole bunch more and then we actually be able to provide our workers with beer. The thing about it is I want to... I would assume at that point that the bakers within the city are going to become obsolete because I'm going to be min-maxing the chain. So I will have to end up deleting them in favor of putting them back here and actually optimizing it so they don't use flour. It would only be grain coming in. Can I build any more of these? Hard to fit you into my vision. Hard to fit you anywhere. I guess we can build some depots. I, I don't know where to build it exactly though. That's the problem. Um, I think we can make like a small little thing here, can we? It just sucks because they have that little radius thing. Uh, maybe... I'm, I'm gonna map this out. Hold on. One, two, three, four like that. But then we wouldn't be able to put anything else around it. No, that, that doesn't work. Because I need to make sure I have enough space in here as well for more productions. More than likely, we're just going to have to put it over here. Uh, one, two, three. Can you not build here? That's unfortunate. Okay. Four. That's actually a decent upgrade. And then another Harbor Master probably linking them up. That's good. Can we do the same over here? No, because we're at the end of the freak. What if I put them over on the other side? Is that possible? Requires adjacent build. Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, well, I guess I can make a double. Kind of something like this. Yeah, so that's a massive depot over there. And I guess just for my psychotic brain, that, that has to happen. Otherwise, I will not build it. Time the rigging. If it doesn't make sense up here in my brain, it, it's not happening. So, we, we need a whole bunch of windows, so I need to pull the window production out of here, or window sailing. Uh, let's see, what can I put in place of that? Well, temporarily, I can put the reinforced concrete there, because I need to have, this stuff is all coming in. Um, Let's do that for now. Let's see if we can get the reinforced concrete up on the board here. I feel like we might need to uh, think a little bit more when it comes to the whole grain stuff because grain is something that we're gonna need and uh, a lot of it. The flour is ugh, um, awful. Yeah. What the heck? We can import brass now? So I can completely negate these. How would this work? It's a one to three. Okay, so... Mm, I don't want that exactly. I don't want that yet, but that's not bad. Knowing that that's a thing, I could probably just work on reinforced concrete, get it on the board here, and then... Well, okay, maybe work clothes... Work clothes we have a ton of. I, I'm just very, very curious how this would be. It's a two to one given that it's a legendary export. So that is okay-ish. Because I really want to upgrade more of the steam motor productions. For the time being, okay, hot take. 1,000 of these equals 587. No, that's not worth at all. Okay. Um, just go back to where you were. I think it was 200 for work close. 368. Yeah, that should be sufficient enough for right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and build up all these depots and these harbor masters. 
nice little area there. Can we do some stuff in here, maybe? Um. <laughs> no. I'm trying to see, like, maybe we can. Maybe like a warehouse or something in here. I don't. I feel like getting a boat in here would be really like it'd be hell. You can't even build a thing. A competitor's island is under siege. Maybe a crane? Would a crane fit? No, a crane wouldn't fit either. A harbor crane would though. Yeah, we can put that there. Just so it's like filled up a little bit. I, I don't I, I though I do like the fact that it is a big beefy building over here, it does kinda look a little weird considering it's right next to the actual harbor, the pier area. So that's okay. These ones we need to those are depots as well. The people oh. celebrate your leadership. I mean the more stuff we have in here the better. And everything else is looking relatively fine. And now that we have electricity working with our mines too, we're going to be churning out a whole bunch more in here. These guys should be working really fast too. With someone at your shoulder. Oh, you're fine, dude. Quit complaining. We have furs. We have a whole bunch of wool. So we're fine. We're sitting pretty, pretty well. Trying to think what else we can do. We have to work on Weston. Yeah, we have to work on Weston at some point. The rest of these chains are working pretty well, though. Sewing machines are working at capacity. These two flour mills, they need to go. Let me see if I can pre-map where the beer stuff would be. Where would I want to put them? I guess I could put them, like, here-ish. So the malt would be at 15 seconds, and these... I have six back there? Yeah, six and three. I can just really replicate that, but then I'd have to import hops, because I have no idea if um, Wilson can hold out this much capacity. Is there a way that I can just, like, put them around, and then it, it kind of, like, makes it too cluttered, I would assume. Uh, can I do something like... Ideally, that is okay. And then the beer itself... What happens if I do this? No, so this, this is a wonky area. Well, I have to make do with what I have, so... I think something like this, because I do want to just move them from there to here. Having six over here... Well, actually, you know what? We probably can boost this up to eight, if I'm being completely honest with you, because... Yeah, one of those powers two of these. Yeah, so okay, we can have eight up here, so our beer production should go out the wazoo. And then we will be able to produce a whole bunch. So that means we really have to work on the bread not having, or having the change of output. So I have how many working back here? I have five here, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine working here. And nine working, how is the population with nine? It's just right there. Okay. So I think if I were to just put like eight of them, it should work. And I'll probably try to put them around the whole sausage thing. Oh no, it, I fully upgraded this because it has a soap in there too. Oh boy. Um, can I put them with this maybe? Oh my god, okay, yes, yes, I, I'm aware. Okay, we can do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe I can fix the road a little bit. Give me one moment. I can fix this. Seven and eight, okay. And do something like that, okay. And then what we'll what we're gonna need are the specialists for bread, so we can swap their input to be grain as quickly as possible. 
so I can get rid of the flour. And then also make um, Weston not import it over, or send it over here, pretty much. Yeah, okay. So we're going to need a lot more grain than what we have here. I have two things bringing grain in, so that means one of these things are not what it was before. So it was the cement. You were the cement. Um, that's actually a really good ratio. Like, very good. Dangerously good. Uh, the sewing machines, what would actually be better? Uh, hmm. Why are we still have brass in here and we're gaining seam? I wonder if I were to build another factory, how would that pan out? Uh, it's minor, minor tangent. I'm trying to see... What would have? I don't know if sausages are good enough. I, I want an export that's good, that will bring me in a lot of cash. Uh, lordy, I think. Um, I mean, really, the reinforced concrete might be better. No, that's. It. I think it's the sewing machines. Sewing machines are one to five. Okay, so give me two hundred. That's that's okay, that's okay. We just need to keep increasing all that. Okay, so with this being said, I'm curious now, because if I'm still gaining brass more than I'm making motors, if I were to make another factory, it would kind of be pushing it. But then I could also increase... Oh, I see why. So that it's a one-to-one, -one, essentially, but this is also... It can be a two-to-one, pretty much. I'm gonna try it. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so now that will be struggling. And then, how is the actual goods for zinc and copper? They, we need to import it. We need to get to the part of, point of importing. But we have two of those factories working right now, so that should be pretty, pretty good. Our rum production is going down, so we need to... We really need to work on that, and that's on La Isla. Do I have a ship over here? Oh yeah, I brought these guys in. <laughs> uh, I'm funny. Items. Yeah, okay. Module items. I want to put you in here because passive trade, if we gain some of this stuff, you know, that's that's badass. New orders. Yeah, hit you on over back over here. Crazy person has a quest. Can you do this without complaining, pig crap? I don't know, can you give me a fucking order without not being a dickhead for once? Doucher? On your head, oh, there it is. Holy crap, the damage. What? Is it because of this? Oh, damage per shot. On our way. Damn, okay. Do we really want to go all the way to battleships then? If these are that strong, holy hell. Excuse me while I had a sip of my coffee. Time the rigging. All right, turn around and uh, turn this in because I really don't want to piss him off. Uh, I kind of want to see, does she have a quest? Only come here when I need you or you'll regret it. Uh, if I were to offer her a gift, she would like because it. Because everyone knows pirates like doubloons. Yes, hand in the quest. You're still excrement. Okay. I... Well, we got two of these now. We have a mortar as well. It's got a big chill over here. I don't see a need to move, to be honest. Time the rigging. Oh, the Enterprise is over here. Okay, so let's bring you back home. Yeah, we really need to make another one of these uh, sails go through. And we should be able to see whether that happens in the next six minutes. Because getting more of these export offices is going to be very important. We could probably build some more stuff. I mean, building harbor masters in here is definitely going to be fantastic. Getting the passive trade is very, very lucrative. I venture to say that um, we could potentially potentially 
start having like decent trade with Miss Hunt. So she were to purchase our items. What does she need How though? Nice of you, to visit. you know, I could honestly bring back cotton fabric here and she could, you know, buy it from me. How, you know, like, what's the justification in selling off? What's the justification in freaking spectacles being more expensive than dynamite? Oh, pocket watches are 3.3k. Mm, damn, girl. Oh, an arts festival. You guys completely forgot that there was a plague that destroyed, like, a decent chunk of your city, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, all water under the bridge, you know. I saw a quest in here. Okay, there it is. I got something perplexing. Need setting straight. A gift for me? We loves you, we does. Oh, well, we'll take it. We'll take it. They probably caught the poor bastard and didn't know what the hell to do with it. <laughs> okay, uh, back to New World for a moment. Ooh, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good right here. I like it. Uh, so how are we doing for the mail? Let's see. Oh no, there's a there's a need for a lot of mail, a lot of local mail. So how does this? How can we boost this chain? What brings you here, Governor? Is it just the amount of people that are here? It's plus fifty. It's so expensive to upkeep, man. Holy shit. Okay, we'll upgrade some more. Um, I think this should be the next district to be worked on, considering you're right next to the the entry point to here. Oh, we didn't build banners here. How will you know where you are if there's no banner? I'm sorry. Well, I guess we can, uh, well, this is kind of, eh. Put one here. And another one right here. Okay. We did it. We did it. We're fine now. We have to beautify this area as well. I could put some homes here, if I'm being honest. I put two there. And then we can work on these areas a little bit. But it is coming out really nicely. I just, I like the view. Every single direction you look at this place is very nice. Now, um, do I want to keep the palm trees here or do I want to do something like this? I have the fencing. Let me see how the fencing would look like this. It's a little bit boring for my eyes. Let me know what you guys think. I, I think that we could do better. Oh, what about if we just put a whole bunch of these cherry trees? You know what? I kind of like this. We make it just all nice and pretty like that. Let me, let's see. We have the money. Let's Let's try it out. It's all uniform. Mm. No. No. Get rid of it. I think the tropical forest is probably the best. Well, no, the palm trees. Palm trees are okay. Having the palm trees be like this, it kind of makes sense. I can take this. Yeah, okay. See, that, that looks a lot better. It's aesthetically pleasing to me. So now we filled in the gaps there. There's a whole bunch of little areas over here that we need to do the same with. Can I put like a little um, mailbox thing over here? Is there room? No, there's not. The, the radius is the problem, man. Like, I don't understand this shit. Why do you have to have a radius with this? Like, I could put one in here. Probably get rid of, like, these two homes in order for that to happen. Which would suck, but I still have room to build more. I guess we have to. Nice post office right here. Uh, this way look looked better. Yep. Built that there, okay. And then we have to... We can do some stuff in the back. Give me a second. Uh, newspaper. A 
little statue is pretty good. And then some plaza benches. There we go. A little bit different from the Hacienda paving, but it's okay. Now, with this all done here, do we have... We are still not gaining enough... A fire broke out. Where? Oh, crap. Yes, 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 you don't have to play the song. I, I know, I know. Back here. Okay, problem solved. We're still not gaining enough for here. Why is the ratio so terrible? Is it just because they're not producing? Yeah, yeah, it's because they're not producing. That's unfortunate. Well, maybe the, um... Maybe I swap them out for these alpacas. Because I think we're massively overproducing these now. Uh, where is the... Where's the beef? Show me the beef. Yeah, that's a lot of beef. Uh, we don't... I think I'm actually going to swap these with alpaca farms. And it took me a long time to determine that that was actually going to be looking nice. And look at these things I built over here. Okay. Alpaca farms would probably be better here. That dude just called me a crackpot. What the hell? I know I have my moments, man, but you know you don't gotta be that mean. So this may not look very pretty, decide, but it'll be effective. And then build a silo. Eh, I mean, we could make it look pretty, because I want to get at least four. Two. Will you be in the radius? Yeah. Okay. That's actually a, that's actually a decent radius. Well, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Delete you both. Just come over here and uh, literally copy this whole thing. Can I just do that? Will it fit here? Yeah, it'll fit here. Just have to change the paving. Yeah. That's okay. But I would prefer to have us in the paving here, considering where we are. Uh, get rid of that. And we need to get to the Hacienda ASAP. Let's have the street paving. There we go. Alright, there we go. And now we actually have some room over here to do some more stuff. We could actually bring this farm back. If we really wanted to. Okay, yeah, they're, they're producing a lot of shit. Please tell me that's enough. It should be enough. Okay, it's enough. Okay, so they're gonna, they're gonna work. And there's a need for fertilizer, and we're fulfilling that need. So we have a decent chunk coming in. That's great. What about corn? Corn is something that um, we'll be struggling. Okay, so maybe we can come over here for the time being, right? And yeah, see now I block them off. That's that's gonna be tough. Uh, hmm. No, that's not the corn one. Corn's here. I can work on this. There you go. I have a fertilizer right there, and then that should be okay then. Because that boosts the production times two. And they are each at 30 seconds? Yes? Yeah, I think so. We are so close to getting the, to this damn man. I, I think I start bringing over some... Uh, uh, you head back over to North Ditchwater. You're not needed here. A competitor's island is under siege. It's just fluctuating, and I think it has to do with the bobbins. Okay. So now we have a whole bunch of alpaca wool coming in. Maybe... What is the main issue? Because I know we have enough felt. No, well, we're just on the edge. Okay. But we have a whole bunch of alpaca wool, so that's good. Another felt producer. Build that right over there. And then I kind of want to move these. I need to start working on, on this spot, okay? Because this is where I want a whole bunch of the industry stuff to be. Let's go ahead and start building or mapping out what can be done. I would assume this is okay. Let's put a warehouse... 
right here for now. And then the Bobbins Weaver. Because remember, this is going to be with electricity. So three of them here would be fantastic. And then how much would it be? So it's 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Okay. So yeah. A competitor's island is under siege. So if we have three here, that should work. Or I, you know, alternatively, we can put one here, maybe, if it fits. No, it does not. Unfortunate. Put that there. Uh, I don't know whether there's a trade union item for these particular item, these ones, these chains, but I'm not going to play with, around with it too, too much. What I'll do is I'm going to start deleting the ones that are over there and start slowly bringing them over here. So get those, bring these, bring these. Don't have enough bricks for that. Fantastic. And we're going to need a fire station over here. What is with my brick production over here? And why is it struggling so much? Can I go over to La Isla and get some bricks, please? The fire has been vanquished. Took that long. Okay, well, nothing burned down. We're, we're good. We're good. <laughs> we are golden, actually. Did this thing not go through? Oh, he's just now arrived. Okay. Okay, so that... Uh, the sails have gone away. I pr took it out of there purposefully. Everything else is looking relatively steady. I'm just... I'm hoping that the... Reinforced concrete gets to a point of actually, you know, being lucrative in this in the sense Let's see here. It's looking all right. Uh, Scrubbing buddy should be at the prison, right? I Don't have a lot of money to really play around with rolling But I want to see if I can find that Baker dude unless I have him already. Let me see I haven't really checked my items recently. Uh, bicycle, clay pit, no. I think I've seen, oh, well, there's the baker right there. Yeah, okay, so I have the baker. Oh! I didn't know I had this. Okay, so productivity by 30%, workforce needed minus 60%. I completely forgot about that. I had better leave it to set. So every 26 seconds we're making one. Okay, that's pretty good. That's really good, actually. And we should have a decent amount of motors now, so we can sell them. 131, nice. Okay, we're doing something, we're doing it. Quest over here. Happy as a sand boy. Will you prepare a thought for us? The Brick Factory. Of course, man. I will happily take a picture of the Brick Factory for you and gain some free money and potentially a cool item. Hope you enjoy your lovely picture. Give me something good, man. Come on, come on. Don't... People celebrate your leadership. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know what he gave me. Cure! A promise kept. Yo, that's actually not bad. Mm-hmm. That's actually not bad. Okay, but I do need the replace input, dude. I don't have enough money for that. I could make a pretty decent sale soon. I'll wait for my reefer to come back. It's literally already here. I just sent it over. That's crazy good. Okay, you guys over here, what is your problem? Um, you probably are just not producing fast enough. A competitor's island withstood an attack. You have your full on input, so why are you guys? Oh, because that's 20. Okay, so that means you can actually be producing more, huh? And we don't have a lot of. Um... We need to upgrade our storage capacity. But give me these bricks first. We'll, we'll work on the rum later. Rum right now, I, I can just use propaganda, and I don't really care about the AI opponents. They're not at a point that they'll declare war on me at the moment, I don't think. Uh, I need to get these going, so please work on that, okay, because now with increased felt, tortillas are now struggling, and ponchos are going to start struggling too. 
Oh lordy, where are the poncho darners? They're right over here. Okay. Uh, let's put another one over here. That should be fine. Yep, that that's okay. Uh, the corn, corn also needs to. Well, we don't have fertilizer in here. Can you not bring fertilizer here? Or are they just transporting it to these ones first? I think they're transporting to these ones. And then it'll go to this one. So I'm going to build this one up as well. Just as a precaution. Tortillas are going to start struggling as well. So might as well just bring another one out here. And build it up from now. And this is all going to be fine once we have electricity over here. Yeah, okay. I think this should be fine. I know the beef is fine. Pretty sure the beef is fine. I can't see it. Uh, no, it's not. So we have to go over to the other side of the island over here and build up another one of these guys. And now we need more of our workforce. Damn, don't you love Anno 1800 when it does this shit to you? It's absolutely amazing. We can build some more homes back here, actually. Uh, go to here. Make it a long one. Um, just enough to satisfy the needs right now. I don't really want to go over and above. We need to get some... Can we not get a path back here? Okay, so that means we have to get rid of this home. That way we can build a road like so. And it goes to here. Okay, there we go. That should be fine. That should be more than fine, actually. And we should be able to have the bobbins fixed and the tortillas should be worked on as well. Uh, did you arrive with the bricks? Are you coming? The Endeavor's on its way. Okay, back to Old World, please. My reefer should be here soon. Holy sail. He is departing, and these things still have not made it. <laughs> oh my god, that's spectacular. Um, let me swap this one out. And then we have a whole bunch of grain now. We still need more. And those things go by very fast. Everything else is holding steady, which I'm very, very pleased about. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Thank you. Okay, what I need you to do for me is selling off a hundred. This is gonna be fantastic. And then head back over to Eli's port. Bring the scrubbing buddy home. I kind of want to make the scrubbing buddy our like a remnant. You know when you go to like one of those museums, a naval museum, you have an old-fashioned ship from. I don't know. The bygone era. You have it just there, and the history behind the ship is just so prominent. I feel like that's certain to be the Scrubbing Buddy for us. The Scrubbing Buddy was the ship that made all of our soap needs possible. Made all the prisoners enjoy ditch water soap. Yeah, we're gonna do that. But give me the money first, because I need the money. <laughs> flexible than you imagined. On our way. Flexible in what regard, my guy? What I wouldn't give. See you on the other side. Uh, the marigold's down here. Let's use a snapdragon. Let's come over here and kill off this gunboat for him. Give it a broadside. Damn, this ship is so good. I need to keep when you are making. Hungry, really hungry. You'll eat anything. Uh, sure. It's on your head. Where is that now? Oh, is that in the new world? I think it's over here. Oh, it's it's a pickup quest. Okay, interesting. All right, let's uh, bring these in first and deliver them because we're gonna need all these bricks. Okay, now where is the flotsam? Bro, it's right in front of your harbor, man. What the hell is wrong with you? There's a level of laziness, and you're really pushing it. 
Okay, let's put a whole bunch of paved roads here. Let's build you around like so. And then upgrade this warehouse right now. Ship under attack. Where? Oh yeah. Okay, you deal with that. We need to find this guy. Clockmakers, framework knitters, no. Residences, no. Fishery, champagne seller, no. Oh man, nope. What is this radar artist invocation? Oh, it's uh, minus 20%. Okay, what's this? Affects artisan residents and engineer residents, all engineer skyscrapers. Bonus income plus three. Residences provide bonus income from variety theater, beer, rum, penny farthings, and pocket watches. Ooh, okay. Have agreed a peace deal. But it's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, not what I'm looking for right now. Clay pits. Mm -mm. Nope. Slaughterhouse, no. Ah, oh, there he is. Perfect. That's who I need. And that's legitimately all I'm gonna grab. Room to maneuver. All right, Snapdragon. Uh, let's pick up the flotsam here. Oh, it's actually uh, escape convicts. That's that's fantastic. Okay, go ahead and deliver that. Uh, back to the new world, please. So, how are we looking over here? I think we're overproducing massively when it comes to the bobbins now. Well, no, not really. It's actually not bad. With the way that we've set it up. Okay, so I can't get rid of those ones over there. But I need to upgrade with the cotton fabric. And that means we have to build some more homes. Uh, because... We are having... Ready to... <laughs> yes. Justice served. So there's a marketplace over here. And we have plenty of room over here to build a really nice location. So I don't really have to stick to the building constraints that I've done before with the homes right now. Let's go ahead and just map this out really quick. Um, seeing as how we have the bricks, let's just go ahead and use them. At least for this road here. Actually, you know, it's just gonna bother me if I don't do the rest. There you go. Done. And... My mouse decided it wanted to be weird for a second. Okay, and done. All right, so over here. We need to get these homes up and running because we need more workforce. I think the end of the double road here should be fine. And I want to do something a little bit nicer with the homes. Kind of put it like along the edge like this, okay? Yeah, okay. So we're going to be making kind of like a U shape here. Or I guess that look, kind of looks like a V, doesn't it? Uh, go over here can't put one there. We can put one here. That actually looks relatively nice. Okay. And then what we can do is something like this. Have that there, and then... Um... Yeah. That's really cool, actually. I've never experimented with something like this before. When would a road actually... So, like, to here. Okay, so this road would be the dividing line. Have some double roads in between. No, that doesn't work there. Uh, we would have to go, like, this. Kind of keep it basic, then. The center bit we can do a lot with. Go all the way to there. And you can go all the way to here. So it's not going to look even on both sides, but it looks nicer. And then that goes to the double road there, which is... Oh, I put it on the one tile over. Okay. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, and build the road here. And let's just go ahead and build all the roads here as well. Can you imagine the view that these homes are going to have? My god. I would want to live here. Screw real life and it's shit graphics, am I right? 
Alrighty. I am so pumped to see what this is gonna look like built up. Island withstood an attack. Very nice. Very, very nice over here. Look at that view. View of the harbor of the ships, all of that. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. There's a empty spot over here and a lot of empty spots in the middle here. I'm gonna do Seeing as how we're getting close to the end of this episode, I'm just going to work a little bit for beautification stuffs right now. Um, I do want to try the fencing over here, though, and see how it... Oops. There. That was still in blueprint mode. There we go. Let's build it like that. Okay, I kind of like that there. That's okay. I feel like in the middle here, we can build a very big part. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. That's not going to work now. Um, because we're going to need a road up through here. Otherwise, they're going to get very pissed. I could build, like, a big park of sorts over here. Let's actually try to work on that. But first things first. Uh, I kind of feel like over here, a memorial statue would be really nice and then a newspaper stand we can just do something like that right there Was I asleep that long? Mm. let's make it like a really big open green area no yeah I mean we can we can do that we can do something like that because we have a whole bunch of like these fountains and whatnot that they would look very nice over here so we can space them out have a gazebo plaza, like, right here. Um, what are some other really nice ones? The thing is over a new world rising. Oh, that only gives you with these things? That's unfortunate. Oh, we can build some uh, touristy things over in here. Or we can play around with the flower beds. Thanks. I agree. Red flower bed, purple flower bed, or yellow? I think we're red here. No, I'm not married to this idea either. What we could do is just a whole bunch of like... It, it, unfortunately, it's not like even-ish, so... We have a statue over here. Uh, another newspaper stand like right here. Have some random seating locations. Because essentially this is a park. That That's what I'm designing it to be. Uh, I don't want that. I would like a garden. Maybe here. Okay. And then I don't think like the tropical force would work well here. I think what we need to have is like actual grass and then random palm trees around. Yeah, I think I like that idea better. So I'm just gonna randomly put these things down over here. Not typically the type of park that I would design, but at the same time, I think it'll look pretty cool once it's all done. Just trying to see, like, there's open areas that I can put more trees in and then fill it up with the grass. Uh, that's a good spot there. That's a good spot there. Okay, now with grass. Let's take a look, see when we put it all together. How's it going? Simply go to Prince. Uh, no, you will not. I will always review your dumbass. I actually quite like that. It's an open area. It looks nice. It's a beautiful park on multiple different fronts. Uh, I will probably revisit it, though, at some point. the word idiot I could twist your face I got something else I can twist from you but you won't like it if you keep talking to me like that you will not enjoy what's gonna happen to you what were to happen if I put like a tropical force stuffs back here how would that work yeah that looks nicer because I feel like over here we can't really do much so just putting uh, these little bits uh, forest and would definitely help out looks fantastic i quite like this and i think when they eventually upgrade to abrero homes they'll look even better around this particular area 
Very nice. So, are you guys linked up with the... No, you're not. Oh, uh, yeah. It is a little bit too far, isn't it? Well, I guess you can have a marketplace right here. And that should be pretty good there, too. And then in between these homes, I really want to build something. But I want them to be different, okay? I don't want them to all be the same. It's threes? Okay. Uh, fountain for you. Or do we want fountains for all of them? Let's just put fountains for all of them. When I eventually get the, you know, DLCs for all the beautification stuff, so I'm, I'm gonna change that. And there's some open area here too for some tropical forests, and I want to do that right now. Very nice. So I think uh, all in all, this episode has been relatively good. I quite like the expansion here on Port Royal. I'm just weary about all the production now. Coffee still holding firm. Plantains are okay. Ponchos are suffering. Tortillas are okay. I don't understand why the co the corn are not gaining. What can I do for you? You're still at 30 seconds, dude? What the hell? Oh, okay, no, well, it does make it faster. It's just... The cotton here is what's really screwing with it. We don't have fertilizer in here, and they take forever to make one, so... I'll have to revisit that at some point. They, those chains need to be optimized, I understand that. Do we also have the needs consumption thing down? The dietary thing? Yeah, we even do. Okay. The more the merrier. Well, I'll have to work on that when we get back. Uh, let me actually... Pick up this ship for him. Because he's a lazy asshole. And destroy three frigates? Okay, well, I have a fleet here, so I can definitely set them to task. Head on over here. And then, uh, is that a plague? It's a damn plague. Mobilize more. I don't know if I can... Will they reach all this area? I think they will. Damn, that's a large one. Holy crap. Mobilize some more. Hopefully that'll be alright. Get you in here. And then, what I'm gonna do is straight up delete the ones back here first. There were five of them over there, so... Build these five, and then put in this dude. And they Not should be working. People. I think that'll be pretty damn decent, right? Yeah, I mean, that's totally fine. Even the ones in the city, uh, they'll probably be um, deleted slowly. I just have to find them. Can't demolish because of the stupid plague. That's great. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And get rid of this one. Yep, it's still good. Even with those gone, it this will work and we still have room for more. Oh, man, don't you love it when you end off a freaking episode with a plague? It, it's just it's just great. They should be able to beat it, right? Question mark? Exclamation point? Do I actually have to get rid of this stuff over here and build another hospital? Can I? Should I? Probably I should, yeah. Because there seems to be plagues happening at this side of the town. And that's unfortunate, because this place looked very nice, the way that it was set up. Um, put it like that, because the... Actually, no. Do it like this. And then I'll have to build a road like this. Oh, there's a... Little bit right there. Okay. And then that should be able to cover up that part of the city. So the only part that's going to be a problem is over back here. And then this hospital... They're still managing to reach these areas, so that's a good thing. Back here is just going to be a little bit sus, so... Something to really work on later, for sure. And now these guys are working very quickly. I do... I think there are other things we can gain from... 
Eli that would help out. Attention for the Admiral. You're already here, so might as well see. Um. Oh well, this one also works. A scammer. Let's grab him. Anything to boost the harbor stuff, I'll take. To be perfectly honest, champagne cellar. Uh, gold mine. We can't do that yet. We could actually. Oh. Okay, maybe we we enlist her. And see what happens. Okay. Roll just a little bit more. Concrete factory. Processes clay. It's we don't have the capability of doing that right now. It's way too much. I might as well buy her. Yeah, I might as well buy her. She's a good uh, specialist to have. But yes, okay, this is where I'm going to end this episode off. So we had a whole bunch of stuff happening. We're going to be moving the beer out from there next. Uh, once we have enough grain coming in. And making sure that we have enough productions going. Hopefully to get to the point where we can import the copper and the zinc so we can get another brass factory going, potentially two. That way we can get all these steam motors working, because when we have that going, money is not going to be an issue anymore. Thank you so much for joining me in this episode of Anno 1800. Please like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. This has been a very, very fun experience, and you guys are making it even more worthwhile every single day. Thank you so much to you guys. If I could hug you. Trust me, I would right now. A long hug, like proper feels type hug. Okay, I'm making it weird. Have a good one.